Welcome to this video regarding using Teams. This video will cover accessing a Teams meeting via the web, desktop app, or phone app. When accessing a Teams meeting, you'll see either an invite like this or a posting on a website somewhere that has a link to join the Teams meeting. And if you click on that link, you will open up a web page. And on that web page, uh, you can join a few different ways, and we'll cover that. Um, as far as the web browser that you're using, make sure you're using a modern browser, such as Chrome, Firefox, Safari, uh, Microsoft Edge Chromium. Um, I'm going to stress Chromium there. It's a, it's a new browser that Microsoft has. Uh, it's the best one they have out there. It's much like Chrome. That's why it's called Edge Chromium. Um, just make sure you use that as the previous browser versions from Microsoft, uh, such as just regular Edge, shouldn't be used. There's some problems with the camera. You just want to avoid that, and uh, as well as avoiding Edge, also avoid Internet Explorer. That's an old browser. It's not a modern browser. Best to be avoided. Um, if you're going to use a Microsoft product, use the new Edge Chromium, or as I said, Chrome, Firefox, or any other modern browser. When you get the browser page that uh, gives you a few options on how to join, one of the easiest ones is to uh, click on the join on the web instead. Um, and we'll cover some of the other options later. But if you join on the web, uh, you might see a pop-up that asks you if uh, it can use your microphone and camera, and certainly if you want to talk or be seen on the um, call, allow those things. After you allow that, um, you'll be asked to provide your name. Uh, you can set some of your camera and audio settings here with these switches. And after you join, you can, you can change them. If you're not sharing your video, you can share your video later. Um, and uh, with your audio as well, you can turn your microphone on and off later. They allow you to do it at the start, but you can certainly do it afterwards. There's also some options to use the phone audio uh, in case your um, computer audio isn't that great. You can also um, call in if there's a phone number associated with that meeting. Over here, you also see uh, the devices. This will help you um, choose what speakers or microphone or camera you might be using for the meeting. After you have all that set and you enter your name, go ahead and hit join now. Um, you may be put into a lobby until they start the meeting um, and you'll just be on this hold screen for a second. When the meeting does start, uh, you'll see that you'll be connecting and then you'll be led into the meeting. Um, and you may see um, people's video. You may see multiple people in the meeting, depending on uh, what type of meeting it is and how many people are in the meeting. Down here, you'll notice that there's a little toolbar uh, and some of the features down here um, on the left there just shows you the timer, how long the call's been going. Uh, again, you still have the camera options as you had before you joined the meeting. Afterwards, you can turn your camera on and off. Uh, by clicking on that button. Same thing with your microphone. You can turn that on and off uh, at this point as well. Um, if you're joining uh, on the web, depending on what browser and depending on what you're doing, you, you may or may not be able to share your desktop. Uh, but if you're joining on the web, you're probably just viewing your presentation. Uh, so we'll skip over those next set of buttons and go over to the show conversation button. Um, that allows you to chat during the meeting. So if you want to ask uh, one of the moderators or organizers a question, but you don't want to interrupt who's ever speaking, you can click on uh, that button. You'll get a chat box and you can put your chat in there. Um, you can also show any participants that are in the meeting with this button uh, and, and see who's uh, in there and um, uh, everybody that's in the meeting. So that's the web app joining on the web. It, easy as that. You just say join on the web, little access to your uh, um, camera or microphone as you need, put in your name, you're in the meeting. That's simple. Uh, if you want to use the desktop app, uh, you certainly can do that. Um, if you have the desktop app, you can just select launch it now. 
if you're not sure if you have the desktop app, um, you can just go to your desktop and type in Teams in the Windows search bar here. And if you see Microsoft Teams app come up, uh, you have the, the app and you can just say launch it now and, and go in there. Uh, the desktop app uh, is very similar to the web app. Uh, it does have a little better functionality as far as sharing screens. If you do have to do that type of thing, um, a, a lot of meeting participants don't really have to share their screens, and that's not really a differentiator. Uh, but sometimes the uh, camera or audio quality is better in the desktop app uh, versus the web app as well. So if you already have it for, for work, um, certainly join using the desktop app or uh, even as a, a private citizen, you can download it and join the meeting uh, that you have a link to. Um, if you don't have the desktop app, you can download the uh, app here by clicking on this button and installing it. Um, if uh, you want to install it later and you, you don't have that um, page open anymore, you can just go to Microsoft.com, search for Teams, go to the Teams page, uh, and then scroll down a little bit and you'll see uh, where you can download Teams as well. Um, there's also the ability to download a phone app and we'll talk about that in a second. If you download the desktop app, you will be asked to um, log in um, and then this way uh, it'll know who you are for when you join meetings. You won't have to put your name in every time. Uh, you would put your uh, work or Microsoft account in here. Uh, if you don't have one, you can always get a free one down here. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. And then you're you're all set to go. Uh, if it does ask you um, if you want to use this for work or school um, or, or personal or business, um, actually choose business, even if you are just usually using it personally. Um, business is free um, and it'll work for you and it's no problem. There's no charge for it. Um, the, the personal version will ask you to install Skype, which is uh, not the app that we're using, so you want to choose um, business. And um, when you use the desktop app, uh, it looks very similar inside to the web app. All the controls are the same down here. You have a little more functionality over here, um, and you'll see that uh, there's not a window, uh, not a browser tab. Uh, up here because you're not in a browser anymore. That's the other advantage of using the desktop app is you don't have to worry about what browser you have on your on your uh, device. Uh, as I said, back at the Microsoft uh, Teams page, if you scroll down a little bit, uh, you'll see the um, link here where you can also put in your phone number and it'll send you a link to download the app on your phone. You can also just go to your whatever app store you have on your phone uh, wherever you download apps on your phone uh, and put in Microsoft Teams, you'll see the little purple Teams logo, kind of looks like that up there. Um, and you install that and it installs real quickly. It doesn't have a real big footprint. Um, the phone app is great to use because you can, um, usually, it, you know, you have a camera on your phone, uh, your smartphone, uh, that is, of course, and a microphone. Um, and you have some of the, you know, you have basically the same controls as far as being able to turn your camera on and off, being able to turn your microphone on and off and so on and so forth. So really handy way to, to do that. Um, and besides your phone, you can also put it on a, a tablet, an iPad or, or what have you. Um, so those are the three ways uh, to join a meeting. Uh, thank you for viewing the video and enjoy using Teams.